Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out for yourselves uh, when you truly need to. Um, being able to have self-care is so important. Um, so continue to being you, the beautiful people you are, and allowing yourself for growth and prosperity. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information um, that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times um, and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and opportunity to be able to be in your life as you're in mine. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, y'all, I am listening to, um, what meditation music is this? 432 hertz, uh, chakra healing, aura cleansing music, nine, uh, nine hours. And I will post that link in the description box below. I needed something to clear my chakra. I've been going through so much stuff for the last few days, you know, just releasing and letting go and coming to peace with stuff. I had to go ahead and take self-care. So it was like I was doing videos yesterday and I really felt burnt out. Like I was really like wrecking my brain to get uh, what needed to be said. And it was just like, you know, universe is like, okay, we appreciate the fact that you're pushing your, <laughs> your lessons out, our lessons out that you need to place upon people's awareness. But it's time for you to do self-care for yourself because you are running on fumes. And I didn't even realize I was doing it until it happened because it was like I was really wrecking my brain to do that. So I had to go ahead and take care of myself. You know, if I want to do good, I have to be able to be in that right energy, that right frame of mind to do that. And my video today is Twin Flame 101. Uh, stop anticipating, uh, stop in, uh, ugh, anticipating failure. Start working towards your success. It's just a lot of times um, we'll go through different situations, and it's just like when you're so used to negative situations, you're so used to be in that negative vibe when you're um, you're already dealing with a lot with your circumstance, your current circumstances, because you're really trying to ascend. You know, you get the, the signs that things are changing for you in a good way. But at times, we don't have that confidence for ourselves to be able to place upon that in our mind. You know, you can say it all day, but you have to be able to believe it. And there's times I've had done that. I'm not even going to lie. You know, um, going through that has been you know up and down and stuff like that but it's just like i have to be behind the words that i speak and you know and i appreciate y'all coming and telling me certain things you know because it, it can be hard at times to actually feel like you have confidence you i really do but it's like certain situations that will pop up and you know, i'll have you back at five times fold you know like back five steps back and i'm just like ugh, you know why am i going through this and it's just like you know ego and darkness will play upon that really quick and especially it is you know the things that has popped up in your mind that'll come it'll make you self you know kind of doubt yourself and I know I said I had to not do that you know because some people do and um, some people say something about it and I guess it's just how you deliver your message and it'll make me snippy you know um in a way they're right but in a way they weren't but you know hey you have to be able to get corrective criticism and that's fine it's just like I tell people it's just how you deliver your message you know it can really rub somebody the wrong way and I just try to you know because I have to be try to be mindful of my words as well so if you feel like I've came at you with an attitude or anything like that please accept my apologies because that's not what I was trying to do I was just trying to say what I say to the point but I can't sit up here and say you you know you got to be mindful of how you bring a message but I, I have to be mindful of how I reply to it so 
you know, I hope y'all accept my apologies if y'all feel like I rubbed y'all the wrong way. But, you know, going through different things, we, we learn. We grow from our mistakes, our setbacks. You know, we do all these different things. But you, you should not, when you know you're on, a, uh, on your way of going towards something that you truly want in your life, you know, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the dreams, what your dreams is telling you. Um, being able to see the smoke screen for or for what is truly being said to you. Being able to decipher, you know, the unknown, the other scene, you know, read between the lines and stuff like that. And, you know, it's okay to have that that moment where you're unsure. You know, that's when you post meditate, you know, seek solitude, being able to get your answers there. If you're not really totally sure about, you know, how things are going, if you know you're putting that effort in for it allow you know the universe is going to say hey we see that you're trying but it's just the fact is they have to be able to give you certain things to be placed in your life to see if you're going to run from it or you're going to you know you're going to run to that brick wall and you know get back up dust yourself off and keep going that's what they want to see because if you can tell somebody all day i want this i want that but are you putting that effort in to be able to make these things happen for yourself? Are you sitting there waiting for the change to happen for you without doing the effort? You have to really look at things like that. You know, um, being able to have that, you know, that confidence in yourself to know, you know what, hey, I'm trying, my, I'm trying to do what I really need to do. Not trying your best, but trying to really do what you need to do, what is required of you. Are you, you know, you're doing your best because it's like, you know, it's like I'm doing my best, you know, and it's just like you're not going above and beyond for the things that you want. You have to be able to fight for the things that you want, not giving up. Don't play dirty. You know, you never should step on anybody to try to get what you want because it's not going to happen that way. And if it does, it'll be very short lived. So you have to be very mindful of how you do things, being mindful of how you project things out to others. That's why I be, I try to be very, you know, cautious on how I project things to other people because I don't want anything coming off in a negative way, you know, because sometimes, you know, my, my straight bluntness can, you know, hurt people's feelings and I really that's not what my intentions are you know because I know how it feels when people deliberately do something to hurt your feelings so it's just like when you're going through things don't already sit in your mind oh this might happen it might not you have to be able to have that you know watch what you're what you're projecting out to the universe as well as your self talks because your self talks you know it, it can either hurt you or it can you know gravitate you you have to really not gravitate you but move you up and you have to be able to do that being able to see things for what they truly are you know um there'll be times where you're not sure because i mean shoot that's a human anybody human you know you fear what you don't see you, you i mean you sometimes we run away from things we don't understand you know because I, I always used to be a runner if i couldn't get it I, you know or i didn't understand it i ran I gave up sometimes before I even got to the finish line. And this is the reason why I go through the things that I'm going through now because I can't keep going my life on running away or not facing the things that I truly need to face in my life. Because if I want bigger and better, I have to be able to work hard, being able to take corrective criticism, being able to take the bitter with the sweet, being able to, you know, use my setbacks to be able to master myself on where I truly want to be at. So when we're going through things, give yourself that credit where credit's due. If you know you're doing what is required of you, you know, there's time you might feel burnt out. That's fine. That's when you take that rest and take that self-care. Because if you're not in that right state of mind and you're trying to do something, you might not think clearly on it. And that's why I had, to, it was like I made two videos yesterday and I had to really, you know, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and redo these when I'm in a better vibe. You know, I was just like running off of fumes and it's, that's that's not what kind of energy I want to be able to project out towards anybody as well. Definitely well as not myself. So when you're going through things, have faith in yourself. Have faith in the universe that things are changing for you. Pay attention to the signs that they're sending you. If there's something that you need to let go of, let go of it. If there's things you need to pay closer attention to and enhance more into that situation, do that. But, you know, better yourself. Don't ever quit because the times get hard because that's when you're truly going to get you know, challenged anyway, you know, especially when it comes to like people that have put you in certain situations, you can't constantly blame them. You have to be able to blame yourself as well. Admit to your, you know, your wrongdoing. You know, as I always 
you know, I always used to say stuff about what my family has done. But like I've also said, I've made decisions of my own where I can cast blame on that. I'm going to take credit where credit's due. I ain't going to put nothing, nothing all on them because there's decisions I could have made differently. And, you know, it could have went a different way. But that was my choice. That was something I had to do. But it's just like when I look at my situation for what it is right now, it's like, OK, this and this is this happened. So what you going to do about it? You can sit up here and sulk in it and have your own little pity party, or you can use this as a platform to be able to get you to bigger and better positive things that's happening in your life. Because it's like certain times we, well, basically times we're, we're, you know, experience really negative things in our life that really can hurt us and damage us in a lot of ways where you feel jaded, you you know, it, or tainted or, you know, broken. And, you know, that's human nature for you to feel that way when things have popped off in your life you know but it's like I use my situation to be able to help me make videos being able to go day by day knowing you know not every day is going to be perfect it's not you know you have to keep thriving you need to keep shining you need to keep surviving but on those days you need to take a break and you're like you know you tell the universe I'm so mentally and emotionally drained can I please just take a break and they'll allow that to happen because, you know, you can't keep doing things, you know, without taking a break, not being able to take care of yourself. But don't put failure upon the, pro you know, the project that you're doing. Don't have that in your mind because that's, you know, you'll end up inviting failure in before, you know, you even get the ball rolling. You don't want to do that with yourself. Just taking day by day, living for that moment. But, you know, being very particular about what you invest your time in, what you invest your energy in. And I, I mean, I had to really think about that stuff because it was just like, you know, I didn't want to take a break yesterday. I felt like I had to do some videos. But it's just like, no, you have to be able to, you know, take care of yourself because you might not have the right message that you want to put out to people. You have to be able to be recharged. You have to be able to be refreshed because there's sometimes people are like Rosalyn you need to take a break you need to take care of yourself I'm like I'm fine you know this and this and that but that is true I need to be able to do that you know be able to take a break you know it's just like I have a lot of videos and I have to put, tell myself that time you know you got over a thousand videos out there you know on the days you don't go you don't come back and you know um say something the next day they have other videos that they can look at if they really want to get that word of wisdom in the videos that they need you know answering the signs that they're they're coming across or they're seeking so it's just like i shouldn't be hard on myself because i'm doing a really good job it is just like but you have to be able to take time out for yourself so don't put failure in in the energy don't put that failure type energy in towards the project products uh projects not products projects that you are working on because it is just like when you're anticipating failure that's what you you know that energy can be very strong than what the positive is and then when things happen that way you're automatically saying see i told you but that was you know the vibe that you sent out so you have to be very optimistic optimistic uh optimistic about the things that you are you know working towards so i hope you are able to resonate with content in my video and i hope y'all had a blessed safe weekend i know i did you know i had to just relax and it was just hard for me to sit down so um i'm gonna get my post notification shout out to princess laura and michael ratson much love to you and i will talk to you on my next video i got more videos coming out today so um i'll see you on that one I uh, hope y'all have a blessed day. Like and subscribe. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. And especially uh, if you drop a line, I'll go ahead and give you a post notification shout out on my video. And, you know, send out as much love and light and, and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.